What's going on guys? So before we kick off today's video, I want to give you guys a quick explanation to a question that I've been asked a few times now, and that is if I plan on using the Sureline scale that they provided me to weigh the pin weight on fifth wheels and kind of compare it to what the manufacturers claim in terms of pin weight ratings. Well, there was a bit of a complication there. I brought the scale out to Ron Hoover and we actually went through this entire process of going through multiple fifth wheels to see what the pin weight rating actually was versus what the weight actually was using the scale and we found the numbers to be really really awkwardly off. So after inspecting the scale, we came to the determination that there's obviously some type of decalibration issue that has taken place with the scale. I contacted the folks at Sureline. I explained to them the variance in terms of what we were getting versus what we should be getting, or at least a roundabout number. And it seemed as if the numbers were actually about 500 pounds less than what the manufacturer rated their pin weight at. So we knew that there was some type of an issue. I sent the scale off to them. They took it apart and they found that some of the seals had been compromised inside of it. And, you know, that could have actually been my fault. It could have been, you know, some type of a fluke with the product. They said that that was their first gen version of that product. And, you know, they have improved the design since. So they went to a single seal version, which is significantly better, longer lasting, more accurate. They went ahead and shipped me out a new one. So we're going to be going out there in the near future to test that scale out. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. If you want to see a video on us going out to to a dealership and actually using a forklift to weigh the front pin box of multiple different sizes of fifth wheels to give you the type of clarity you might be looking for in terms of you know what does the manufacturer say that the pin box weight is what do we actually measure and how different is that versus an RV that might be at its gross vehicle weight rating or its maximum weight rating because the numbers you see published on these websites for the different fifth wheel manufacturers are all generally based on the dry weight of the fifth wheel. So it's going to be a really interesting video. Again, before we kick this one off, take a second, subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and uh, we'll kick this video off. What's going on, guys? Welcome to the back of my truck. Now, I'm here at the back of my truck because I want to talk about a topic that is brought up quite often in the comment section whenever we talk about utilizing something like a weight distribution hitch or just an aftermarket hitch in general and whenever you plan on towing. So this is a topic, again, that's brought up time and time again, and I want to try to answer it. So hang tight. I'll be right back. Okay, so from the back of my truck, you see that I have my WaySafe hitch already installed. This hitch is super cool because it has an integrated scale built into it, so I have an opportunity to see specifically how much tongue weight's being rested on this hitch whenever I'm towing a trailer. It all factors into how safely you're towing, right? You don't want to exceed what the truck's capable of, but one thing that a lot of people don't ever realize is you may exceed what your actual receiver is designed for if you don't look further at some additional numbers that are usually printed on your receiver. So if we move over slightly, you'll see that there's a sticker here. And this specific sticker indicates what the weight distribution capacity is and what the weight carrying capacity is of this specific receiver. Now, a change that Ford did in 2017 was to re-rate how the receivers are designed to handle weight from a weight carrying perspective and a weight distribution perspective. And what they did was they matched the two. So typically where you see it say weight carrying 21,000 pound gross trailer weight and you see the actual maximum tongue weight, those numbers would be dramatically different than the actual weight distribution amount. So the weight distribution amount may have still been 21,000 pounds and the maximum tongue weight may have still been 2,100 pounds, but the weight carrying capacity without weight distribution might have been like 10,000 pounds with the maximum actual tongue weight of 500 pounds or 800 pounds or 1,000 pounds. And on a lot of trucks, that number is dramatically different and you have to look at that number. That number is going to be different for a lot of different types 
of manufacturers and vehicles. When you look at some of the newer trucks, again, trucks that have just recently been manufactured, in terms of three quarter ton or one ton pickup trucks, these numbers may be very similar or the same. But if you have a truck that was built, you know, five or 10 years ago, you may find that these numbers are dramatically different. And the actual weight carrying capacity of your receiver, whenever you're towing a trailer, is going to be significantly less than if you're using a weight distribution hitch. And oftentimes when you saw advertising around these numbers, it was all based on the weight distribution hitch equipped truck. So if you didn't have a weight distribution hitch, if you just had a hitch like this, you might only be able to load 500 pounds onto it or 800 pounds or 1,000 pounds onto it. Most of the time, it was only 500 pounds worth of weight that you could actually rest directly down on here without exceeding the receiver. And in most cases, you'd have to move to a weight distribution hitch to be able to get 1,000 pounds worth of tongue weight or 1,500 pounds worth of tongue weight. And in these newer trucks, Again, things have changed. They've tried to align these two numbers so the receiver itself is built strong enough to be able to handle the maximum carrying capacity and the maximum towing capacity without needing a weight distribution hitch. But in terms of half ton trucks, this is still going to be a big difference. You may see that again, your truck only has a 500 pound maximum tongue weight pressing down on here capacity versus if you had a weight distribution hitch, it might be closer to a thousand pounds or more. But these are all absolutely incredibly important numbers to keep an eye on because there are folks out there who will balance out their trailer, everything looks good, but they're actually putting twice the amount of weight that the receiver of the truck is designed to carry. And if you're doing that, you could potentially have a component failure here where the receiver itself fails even though you think you're within the correct numbers and capacities that your truck's rated for. So this is all really important stuff to look at and it's always a good idea to look at the sticker on your receiver and see what your actual carrying capacity is versus what your weight distribution hitch carrying capacity is because these numbers again are generally dramatically different based on the type of truck you have, the manufacturer, and the year of your truck. Anyways guys, I sure hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up and we'll talk to you again very soon.